Good morning. Today I would like to share with you my mobile craft bag. Um, whether it's when we're away in the caravan or if I'm just moving pieces around the home or like last night when I was sitting watching TV um, with the family, I did a couple more on my Christmas advent bags which I'll be showing you in another video. So this is my mobile craft bag. Now, I've said this a few times, I do collect makeup bags, um, shower caddies and everything like that. I find them so useful for different bits and pieces. This one, actually, I had for quite a few years. I'm um, still in the packaging and I didn't use it. I, I bought it online some time ago thinking I'd use it. Um, but in the end... Um, with getting into more crafting, I started wanting to take bits and pieces like to the caravan on holiday. And I did quite a bit crafting when I was in Cornwall for two weeks. So, moving on, this is my mobile craft bag. Um, when we went to Cornwall, it consisted of card making um, items. This one is because I'm concentrating more on my Avent calendar bags. Um, so I will proceed to show you. So it's got the Velcro. As I said, I can't remember where I got it from. And although I like to declutter, I do like to keep these sort of things. So it has got a number of different pockets. And I'll go through them, as I said. And that's why it makes it so useful. Um, to use as my mobile craft bag. Now, starting at the end one where this mesh is, in this one I keep my pencil case and in there has a pencil and it has a ruler, a pen and a rubber and a hoot. Um, this was actually a gift, so I think it might have been B&M, but I know it was a gift um, from someone who knows I like owls. Um, I have got my sharpener. Um, and in this compartment, I do have some Christi Christmas washi tapes, although I need to replenish this a little bit um, when the next go away. And scissors. So that is the compartment right at the back. Using what I hope is what I need. I know I have a couple of um, dummy runs, but as I said, I've been using this quite a bit um, the last couple of nights in the lounge. In this little zip here, I do have the embellishments um, that I got from Amazon. There's a mixture of um, snowflakes, rocking horses, Christmas trees, bells, and I think there might be angels in there as well. So, sorry for the rustling. So I've put those in there because I've been using those quite a few. In this zipper here is embellishments and I will quickly go through some of these um, you've seen them in my craft recently I've got the frames Oops, move those over there um, the little hearts I got from um, hobby craft that were 25p and I just like the um, copper rim on those um, these nail trims foils that I said I use as I say um, quite these you might be familiar with that I've used in projects and I've got a few little bits that I've cut off cards got some Christmas ones here and a few bits and pieces in there. I'm not going to go into too much details because they will be going on cards. My numbers for the Avent bags. 
some of these poinsettia rosettes. And I do like these. These were from um, Hobbycraft. These sentimentals, sentiments, sorry. And I've only got a few left of those. They're like hessian with thread right in. So, again, excuse the rustling. I'm just going to pop all these back in. So I've got a selection of bits and pieces in there. Um, so some of these could also be used on um, cards. So that's that pouch. The next main pouch, as I say, it all depends on what mini craft I'm doing when we're away. So a lot of the time it's been cards. But I'm in the middle of doing more bags. So I'm going to make up more bags. I've got three ready up for the next Avent calendar bags. So they're sort of they're ready to go. Then also in here, I have a selection of the mini Christmas pads. So I could actually put um, some cards in here that I want to make. So that's that little bit. Then also in this bit, I have a Oddments um, embellishment box. Now these came from Home Bargains. I've used them for years, and I think it was a set of four. And I know I've sent one to a YouTuber with bits in and I've decorated it. And I've also done it for my friend's grandchildren. Um, little embellishment boxes like this. And again, put the names on the stickers. So I'm going to quickly show you what's in here. So I have got... I've got a few hours actually. And these are all in different colours. I'll take the green one because that'll probably show up a bit better. Um, I've got some of these little um, little foil things. They're like um, spongy. This one has got little bits and pieces of oddments in and a few gems in that one. So just a few little oddments. And I've got some little stars. In this one I've got um, hearts, embellishments, little cardboard ones in there as well. Um, in this one I've got a lot of the gold um, leaves. And in this one, I'll take the large one out, you might be able to see. Um, I've got um, different keys and I've got the cogs in here as well. I've got from Amazon and the little miniature keys. Oops, I'll do it this way around. And the little keys. So that's like a mini embellishment box. Um, I do have a bigger embellishment box that I have in my craft cupboard. Um, but as I said, this is um, a travel art case, craft case. Right, the last section here, I'm going to lift it up, basically holds all my glues and everything. So, what I may use, so the different, as I said, the all-purpose one and the glue stick. Cellar tape, then from Poundland, from another Poundland, I managed to get the foam on the roll and the squares. So if you want to raise anything up, I've been having difficulty in actually getting those from you um, from um, Poundland. Um, I've also got the blue spots or dots. And then a selection of the time to mid little um, squares. So that is my 
glue compartment. So hopefully, um, this is sort of how I set it up when I'm traveling as well. Um, there may be the odd bit, there may be in, um, put in there. Um, but that's really how it stands. And as I said, that then all just goes up. I've got a Velcro strip here that goes across and I have my mobile craft bag. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you wish to comment, please do so. Um, have a good day. Thank you.